YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel, bringing you another great video about monster homes on farmland in British Columbia. Yes, it is happening. There is a problem. Will British Columbia try to block mega mansions on protected farmland? That is the main question. Let's watch this beautiful video and find out what's going monster on. monster homes, they're the biggest monsters of them all. Now the BC government is looking into whether something should be done to prevent enormous homes from going up on what's supposed to be protected farmland. CTV's Bender Sudgeon reports from our legislative bureau tonight. Richmond mega mansions occupying prime farmland are also fodder for a contentious debate. All those in favor. City councillors voted monster homes don't need new limits. Some farmers say the houses are for big families, Others argue they're eating up valuable land and spiking prices. The community wins. The, the farming community has some sense of um, certainty. We actually up the ante and increase the speculative value of the land. The issue is on the agriculture minister's radar. If the price of that land is too high, the one thing that it guarantees is that farming won't be happening. Lana Popham says an independent review of how agricultural lands are managed is underway. She stopped short of saying we could see a limit on house sizes. There is a problem, but it's not just Richmond. This is a problem that's going across the province. Decisions around housing and business permits currently lie with local governments. The Greens say applying the foreign buyer tax or banning foreign ownership could address speculation immediately. This would be a, something that we don't need to consult about. It would be something that we need to take action on. He and others will have to wait. The province anticipates changing the rules this fall. That's also when local politicians could be facing angry voters during municipal elections. Binder Sajjan, CTV News, Victoria. Well, this is a big problem. Our farmland is being gobbled up. I don't know if you guys remember the article I read. If you go to my channel, go to the little magnifying glass and search. Uh, I did. I read an article about uh, farmland in Richmond uh, sold 100 times above asking value. It, crazy amounts of money bought, purchased. Yeah, 100 times. I thought it was 10. It was like 100 times purchased above the... Uh, um, purchase value. So critics are calling for the province to step in after Metro Vancouver City Council uh, opted not to block mega mansions from protecting ag agricultural land Tuesday morning. It was after midnight when Richmond representatives voted against a proposal to limit the size of homes on farmland uh, following hours of feedback and discussion. It's very simple. There's, there shouldn't be hours of this discussion. It's very simple. Do we need to eat? Yes or no? Yes, we do. Okay, there we go. Discussion's over. There's no time for debate. Well, debating what? How big a house needs to be? You know? Uh, uh, um, it's an article. I'll leave, I'll leave a link below if you guys want to read it. it. It just goes into the square footages of land and what people, how, how big people should live in. You know, people shouldn't be told how big their houses should be if they could afford to build them. But... Ask the question again, should we eat, yes or no? And then them, them talking about uh, uh, banning fo uh, foreign ownership, uh, New Zealand is doing that, and, and the market is completely uh, going upside down right now, and uh, it looks like in another eight months to a year and a half, the New, Ze the New Zealand proper should be heading back to their homes and, and buying homes again. Uh, Sydney is out of control right now, so we don't even know what the hell is going to happen there. Sydney's seeing a mass exodus, and, and, and I don't know. If you're in Sydney, let me know if your farmland's being bought out and they're building mega mansions on there. Let me know, too, if you're in Auckland, if that's happening, too, in whatever little farmland you guys have there, precious farmland that you guys need. In Canada, we got lots of land, but a lot of people don't realize a lot of it is crown land, so we don't even own that land. So it's not even part of Canada. We can't do nothing with it. It's part of the crown, right? So we can't even touch that land. So we got to, you know, Can Canadians need to be really careful of how much land up they use. Uh, to build homes, right, for uh, for for to be left empty. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You know, I know in Toronto they're buying up, up uh, acres, several acres here and there, up Highway 10, up in Brampton, in in Brampton area, um, all the way up to like all those areas up there, way up Highway 10. They're buying up farmlands up there and building mega mansions. I'm not sure where else it's happening. I know in California it's happening more in the interior, not along the coast. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Simple question.
There is no problem. Do we need to eat? Yes or no? Oh, we could just import all the food in. Oh, that's great. Watch those videos on Facebook, how they're adding dyes and colors and making fake eggs and making fake uh, uh, eggplants and dy dyeing it in colors and stuff. Yeah, we'll just import in that food and plastic rice. Hey, that's good too. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below.